Hello, everybody, and welcome to our NECAN product education series. We're going to do a self-care for heart health presentation. And my name is Brody Craney. I live out of Logan, Utah, and I have been a wellness consultant for going on just shy of 20 years now and am madly and passionately in love with uh, these technologies that comprise what we call a wellness home. We have many people who come to us though that say, hey, I'm worried about my uh, weight issues or I'm worried about my kidneys or my liver or I'm worried about my heart or these types of things. Today we're gonna to talk about some self-care tips for heart health. And in looking at that, uh, we're gonna talk about heart disease. It is a leading cause of death uh, for both men and women, one out of every four deaths take place because of heart disease. Every minute, someone in the U.S. Does, dies from heart disease, and we have over 610,000 Americans dying from heart disease annually. Now, understand that makes up over a, a heart attack every 43 seconds. And just coronary heart disease itself kills an estimated 370,000 people annually and accounts for some 109.9 billion in annual US medical expenses. Now, you can add up to that the total, total costs of cardiovascular issues, not just heart disease, but cardiovascular. Um, all that combined is over $444 billion in the US. That's more than a billion dollars a day. That's approximately one of every six healthcare dollars is now being spent on heart disease. The Center for Disease Control estimates that by 2030, this will rise to over 818 billion annual cost. Right now, the productivity cost, uh, loss of productivity from heart disease is estimated over $27 billion. So, Moving forward, types of heart disease. We have hypertensive heart disease, basically linked with blood pressure. We have ischemic heart disease, which is a narrowing of the coronary arteries. We have uh, cerebrovascular heart disease, which basically has to do with the blood vessels leading to the brain, typically talking about stroke issues. We have inflammatory heart disease. Uh, where we're dealing with um, inflammation that can be inflammation in the heart muscle itself, in the sac around the heart, or the inner lining of the heart. Um, these inflammations are often caused by one of two things, toxins in our environment or infectious agents. The last one there, rheumatic heart disease, typically linked with someone who's had rheumatic fever and the challenges that that causes and leaves with them for the rest of their life. So, we're gonna talk about who is at risk. Well, everybody is at risk in some fashion. Um, those who are most at risk, over half of Americans, have one of the three highest, highest risk factors, and that is half of Americans either have high blood pressure, um, high LDL cholesterol, or are smoking. Other factors that link people to heart disease are a family history, um, insulin resistance, or diabetes, people that are overweight, people with poor diet, physical inactivity, poor sleep, excessive alcohol use. I'm going to go over a couple of these things here about Dr. Bowen, a PhD, director for the Center of Disease Control's Division of Heart Disease and Stroke Prevention, stated that about one in three adults, approximately 86 million people, have at least one type of cardiovascular disease. Um, in a Whitehall uh, 2 study, uh, British researchers looked at how sleep patterns affected the mortality of more than 10,000 British civil servants. And it, this is a study that lasted over two decades. The results published in 2007 showed that those who had cut their sleep from seven to five hours or fewer a night doubled their risk for death from all causes. And in particular, the lack of sleep doubled their risk for cardiovascular disease. I apologize, we are on the wrong slide. It jumped forward, there we go. Um, other key areas to consider have to do with your cholesterol, your triglycerides, your blood glucose, 
blood pressure. We're very, very familiar with those in the medical world, but quality sleep, hydration, and air pollution are things that have significant impacts when it comes to heart disease that your medical doctor typically does not talk about because they don't have a drug that affects those. So let me talk about these things. Sleep, this is from uh, WebMD. Sleep deprivation can lead to serious heart problems. Sleep disorders and chronic sleep loss can put you at risk for heart disease, heart attack, heart failure, irregular heartbeat, high blood pressure, stroke, and diabetes. According to some estimates, 90% of the people who have insomnia also have another health condition. Heart disease being one that is huge ranked on there. Now let's go to hydration. Hydration is a, is a major, major of importance for your health. Now, in a book uh, called The ABCs of Asthma, Allergies, and Lupus, Dr. Batman Gal Halid states that cholesterol is part of the body's drought management system. Dehydration causes the blood to become acidic. So it pulls water out of the cells, lining the arterial walls to dilute the acidity. These delicate cell walls are weakened by that water loss and are further damaged by the toxicity of concentrated blood. So the fast rush of blood against the arterial wall produces a microscopic abrasion in the cell wall. Dr. Batman Gal Halid says, the body places cholesterol in the arteries to act as a, uh, a grease gauze to prevent the artery wall from rupturing. When the body is dehydrated, so is the blood, which causes it to flow less like water and more like molasses. There is also less blood volume, so it becomes difficult for the heart to pump it past any blockage. Being thicker, the blood is more likely to grab onto plaque, break it loose, and carry it into a vital organ such as the heart or the brain. So dehydration, big issues when it comes to heart disease. Now we're gonna to switch to air pollution for a moment. This was posted by the American Heart Association. It says, whether you live in a city where smog forecasts are routine, or in a less populated place, tiny pollution particles in the air can lead to big problems for your heart. Uh, Dr. Russell Lupker, a cardiologist, epidemiologist, and Mayo professor in the School of Health at the University of Minnesota indicates, pollutants play a role in causing plaque in the blood vessels to rupture triggering heart attacks. Now, I want you to think, just because whether you live in a, in a polluted city or not, most people are not aware that the air inside their own home is two to 10 times more polluted than the most polluted city. And so that air pollution from indoor activity, unless you're spending most of your time outdoors, um, you are getting air pollutants which are causing these challenges internally. Uh, pollutants play a, a role in causing plaque in a blood vessel to rupture, triggering a heart attack. This kind of, uh, let's see, this kind of pushes you over a cliff, says Dr. Lupker. Studies have shown increases in deaths and hospitalizations where there is a high concentration of smog. Pollution is also believed to have inflammatory effects on the heart, causing chronic cardiovascular problems. Data suggests that over time, pollutants aggravate or increase the process of disease in the arteries. In 2004, the American Heart Association issued a scientific statement concluding that exposure to air pollution contribute to cardiovascular illness and mortality. A 2010 update elaborated on these risks. Short-term exposure can lead to risk of heart attack, stroke, arrhythmias, and heart failure uh, in the elderly, all those with pre-existing medical conditions according to this statement, and those with pre-existing medical conditions. It also may play a role in high blood pressure um, heart failure and diabetes. Uh, Dr. Luke Kerr also stated uh, in a 2010 study, says, suggested that avoiding jobs with high exposure to pollutants would be advised. The central theme here is to be careful, he said, avoid situations where you're exposed to high levels of air pollution. And the highest levels of pollution, folks, whether we realize it or not, you can look it up on epa.gov, is internal air in your own home. It's called sick building syndrome. Traditional treatment for heart disease. We're told to eat right. We're told to exercise. Uh, we're told that medication is going to help us. Folks, we've tried this for over 50 years. It's not working. Heart disease is still the leading cause of death. Um, few people have the power to change, the willpower to change their diet. 
if you have the willpower to maintain an exercise program. And there are countless, countless side effects when it comes to the statin drugs. Um, Lipitor, Zocor, and all the other statin drugs, they work, their goal is to lower cholesterol, but they do so in the process to reduce CoQ10 levels. And that literally drains the body's batteries or antioxidant levels. Uh, the Mayo Clinic reports most people taking statins will take them for the rest of their lives. A 2000, uh, in 2003, just one of the medications, Adorovastin, became the best-selling pharmaceutical in history with $12.4 billion in sales. Um, 2005 sales total for statins was $18.7 billion. If you take a look at this, memory loss, muscle pain, liver toxicity, kidney failure, uh, fatigue, exercise intolerance, uh, heart failure, cognitive decline, confusion. Um, all these things are not the greatest when it comes to side effects. So what if there was a way to take care of these issues without drugs, without the chemicals? Uh, what if there's a way of, of helping us get our blood pressure under control? What if there was a way of of doing smart things that not only helped our heart health, but helped a whole lot of other things. We're gonna to talk today about adaptive sleep technology, ad uh, advanced water solutions, and whole food nutrition solutions. And understand that we're not here to diagnose or to treat or to promise any claim. You should always talk to your doctor or medical practitioner when looking at anything that could be uh, related to your health. Um, but it is possible common sense that if, if we make some simple changes, we may be able to make some huge differences. We're going to talk about a sleep technology that is the most advanced sleep technology in the world. Pimag water technology. It is uh, alkaline. Uh, it is mineralized. It is clustered. It is just a phenomenal ionized technology. You see in the center uh, what we call the heart health pack, the two pack of progesterol and the two pack of Siaga. We're gonna spend a lot of time on that. We'll talk about some air technologies and also some omega greens plus DHA, which do it without using fish oil. So first off, sleep. Niken, multi-billion dollar giant in the health and wellness arena, has an amazing adaptive sleep technology. It has a comforter, pillow, uh, pillow cases, sleep mask and topper that incorporate magnetic technology, far infrared technology and negative ion technology. It promotes fewer interruptions. It may alleviate discomforts which promote more sound sleep. Deep sleep is regenerative and allows the body to detoxify and strengthen the immune system. When we sleep our heart and blood pressure are reduced. That's according to the National Sleep Foundation. The people that have sleep problems don't have those types of benefits. Um, sleep is essential for heart health. People who don't sleep enough are at higher risk for cardiovascular disease, regardless of age, weight, smoking, and exercise habits. One study examined data from 3,000 adults over the age of 45 found that those who slept fewer than six hours per night were twice as likely to have a stroke or heart attack as people who slept six to eight hours per night. So folks, sleep is huge, and so many people are not able to sleep. According to Dr. Dement, Dr. William Dement, sleep is more important than the air you breathe, the water you drink, and the food that you eat. It is the single most important determinant for your longevity and your immune system. With that in mind, we're going to move on to the next concept. Nikan has two technologies that will help hydrate. One is what we call, you'll see it in the first picture here, uh, on the top left, the PyMag waterfall. And in this second picture, you see our portable sports bottles. Folks, the cost of this technology is unbelievable. The waterfall, what it does, used to cost us over $1,300. And it took two machines to do what it does. Um, it is the most advanced hydrating system on the planet. It gives you alkaline water between 8.5 and 9.5 pH, mineralizes clusters, uh, has a, literally a high ORAC value with it. Um, but that technology is now reduced to just $249. These water bottles you see in front of you, just $50. 
Researchers at Loma Linda University tracked 20,000 people aged 38 to 100 from 1973 to 79. According to the chief uh, researcher, Dr. Chan, those people who drank five glasses of water per day lowered their risk for fatal coronary heart disease by 54%. Well, why don't more people drink water? Because they don't like the taste. They're scared of the contaminants, all those types of things. And Nikan creates a water that people literally just crave and is a huge help when it comes to heart disease. Um, the, the Loma Linda study found that when people who are drinking coffee, tea, alcohol, juice, or milk, if, if those are the liquids of their choice, they produced a 46% increase in heart attacks. So what you put into your body truly does make a difference. The Kinko air purifier um, is really important because 80 to 95% uh, of our time is now spent indoors. And you can reduce dramatically your intake of inflammatory particles. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but folks, this technology is more effective and efficient than hospital HEPA filtration. Um, this technology in its first generation of design costs us $1,200, actually it was $1,250. We're now in our uh, third generation of design and the cost is now just $399. And I, I tell you, this is one of the most amazing things you can do to reduce pollutants in your home. Now, philosophy. Hippocrates, thousands of years ago, said, let food be your medicine and medicine be thy food. What an amazing concept. What if we didn't have to have drugs that had all the side effects? Would that be a really good thing? Introducing... Nikan's Heart Health Pack, Bergisterol and Siaga. The Heart Health Pack comes with two can canisters of Bergisterol and two canisters of Siaga. The Bergisterol made from bergamot fruit in Calabria, Italy, that's down in the boot. It has been clinically tested and clinically uh, uh, proven some really amazing benefits. It's kosher, gluten-free, no artificial colors, sweeteners, preservatives, inexpensive alternative to what? Well, if some people, I know a lot of people said, I'd rather not be on the medications for the rest of my life. And this is less expensive than those medications and many people have reported more effective. Simple to use, no harmful side effects. So benefits of progesterol. How would you like to have changes in cholesterol, triglycerides, blood sugar, and blood pressure? How would you, uh, like to have your bergamot in a juice rather than in a dried powder. The juice is more bioavailable. Capsules don't always break down in the body and the juice is naturally potent uh, as opposed to uh, uh, without preservatives, therefore not having anything to alter that. It was cold process, remains, it maintains its enzymatic value. So huge, huge benefits there. Bergamot has been clinically researched. It's clinically shown to lower cholesterol and, impro uh, and improve all lipid partners, to address the risk of factors for metabolic syndrome, uh, fatty liver, people talk about with that, lower blood sugar, improve vessel, improved blood vessel health, improve liver function, um, address dangerous abdominal fat, and decrease inflammation. There were four human studies that have been shown that bergamot reduced the bad cholesterol, in fact, let me go down here, experience reductions in total cholesterol by 22%, LDL cholesterol, 24%, 30% um, decrease in triglycerides, 22% increase in the good cholesterols, HDL. That is indeed impressive. Um, and potential benefits of bergamot. Counter oxidative stress. We have a lot of oxidative stress throughout our entire system. This is a, like you will, a, a major, major antioxidant. Um, it, it, it will help to suppress inflammation and endothelial, uh, in endothelial cells, and those are the cells lining the inner surface of the blood vessels. Inhibit plaque formation, improve arterial responsiveness. Now, activates AMPK. AMPK improves insulin sensitivity promotes glucose intake in cells and suppresses the synthesis of glucose in the liver, thus lowering blood sugar. Important benefits there. Now, what should you do? Most people are gonna take two ounces a day for their first month. 
Again, most people will take two ounces a day for their first month. You may have to stay on that if you're not seeing enough results right off. Uh, but typically they'll go down to one ounce a day thereafter. And uh, I, I do have a lady, uh, she got her husband on four ounces a day because he was told he had to go in and get a, a rotor rooter <laughs> for his arteries. And she said, I don't want that. She got him on four ounces of Registerol a day uh, for a total of five months and it brought him down below safe levels and he didn't have to have the surgery. Now, you can take this alone and you can mix with cold beverages. Some people absolutely love the taste. My wife loves the taste of this. I'm not someone who's madly in love with things that are bitter. And so there are people who like to mix things with, uh, to mix it with orange juice or grapefruit juice or things like that. Um, what I learned at the beginning, whether I like the taste or not, I do think that healthy tastes great. And in my family, the guys tend to to, to leave early because of heart issues. And so if I have something that can help with heart issues, I'm all over it. Now, Kenzen Siaga. It is a high, high, high ORAC rating. Over 15,000 units per ounce is what the test showed. That is a major defense against premature aging. It's certified USDA organic. It's made from whole foods. Uh, very high bioavailability for better absorption. Um, it's not just a bunch of uh, extracts or minerals or things like that. This is uh, what we're told we're supposed to eat our fruits and our vegetables. And many people just don't get them. And so this is giving you the power of your fruits, your berries, your nectars, uh, cold processed, no preservatives, no added sugar, no artificial flavor or color, harvested and prepared for optimum potency. It is kosher and a BPA free bottle. The C of Siaga, the name, stands for cardiovascular health, I for immune system, A for antioxidant, G for gastrointestinal, A anti-aging, and B vitality. Um, this is a really, really key thing because it was antioxidant levels and so forth to help out in a heart regime. Now, it has makai and acai superfruit, plus elderberry, blackberry, raspberry, agave nectar, grapeseed extract. It can be taken at any age. Uh, my kids love this stuff. Phytochemical rich. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on phytochemicals, folks, but these are the things that make it so that if you take a, you can take a pill of vitamin C, or you could take uh, you know, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C in a pill, or you could take and get 10 out of an apple, and you're going to absorb more from the apple because it is loaded with phytochemicals all around it. It will aid in absorption. The phytochemicals are huge as a defense in your body supports a healthy weight management and supports detoxification in a major way. Now, this item is a major, major interest, folks. Omega Green plus DHA offers the essential omega fatty acids necessary for your health, the three, six, and nine omegas. And it does it from a vegetable formulation. Once again, it does it from a vegetable formulation. No fish oil, which has toxicity, heavy metals, the mercury. And that is just absolutely huge, the benefits comes in that way. Supports cardiovascular and heart health, supports brain activity and mental alertness. It is kosher and vegan certified and gluten free. DHA is helpful for high, uh, eye health, helpful for heart health, maintenance of normal triglyceride levels, maintenance of normal heart rate, maintenance of normalized blood pressure and brain health. Um, now, additional resources to consider. We can't spend a lot of time on these today, but we've had people get on Jade Greenzymes and have dramatic changes in the cholesterol levels. Know that that is a wonderful resource. Also helps to alkalize the body in a major way. The bone health pack, I've seen people that have atrial fibrillation, a number of people, that because of calcium being released from their bones properly, at least it's believed, it's theorized that this might be one of the reasons, that the, every muscle contraction and every nerve impulse in the body requires calcium and calcium from the bones uh, may have an impact on those nerve issues and muscles. We've had several people who have reported changes in the atrial fibrillation and not needing their medication anymore uh, after getting on the bone health pack. Kenzen Vital Balance, also very helpful. Uh, many people utilizing it for uh, heart health and reduction of weight, which is really important for heart health. So what I'd like you to think about is who do you know that's into prevention? Who, who do you know out there that would like to not get heart disease? 
Who do you know that has a heart disease history in their family? Who do you know that would like to get off of medications? Or who do you know that would like to do something that is pesticide free, all natural, organic, clinically tested without side effects? If you know people like that, you may want to refer them to this presentation. Uh, we will do it again in the future. Uh, NECAN plans to post some of these online as well. Let me give a cost comparison, folks. If you're on Crest Store, I just Google Crest Store, and this is what came up $260 for a 30 day supply. That's $3,100 annually for your Crest Store. You could get a wellness home for heart health, which I've linked as your air, your water, your sleep, and getting the Siaga, the Registerol, and the Omegas for $2,454. So we've got more than a $600 difference of taking Crestor, plus you have the whole wellness home, which helps with a whole bunch of other things and no side effects. So the next chart down there in the purple shows, this is just what the costs are for the, the Queen Nature Rest System. You have that for 1600, the waterfall 249 and the air 399. The heart health pack runs 12, uh, 120, pardon me, $112.50. The Omega Greens plus DHA, $40. If you got those two things, the heart health pack and the Omegas, on auto ship, you'd get it for $114.36. So again, folks, the cost comparison is, is significantly different here. So my recommendations to all who are listening, get accounts, get, get a free a customer account, sign up, get the stuff. You have uh, direct online shipping. We can drop ship when you do that. Know that there is auto ship when you have a free, one of those free accounts, you can get a 25% discount on your consumables when you utilize auto ship, direct delivery to your house. Same big, convenient, you don't have to go to the store, the pharmacy, <laughs> big things there. So here's the story, folks. If you wanna learn more, my recommendation is, is you go to a local wellness preview and learn not only about these technologies, but all of the rest of what is in a Niken Wellness Home. Find out the other online trainings that you can do that have product, uh, find out the product training schedule, learn, ask, and learn about those, and talk to the person who invited you to learn for a personal product demonstration. Now, after you learn, you ought to live it, get it, order it, experience the benefits, and if you like what's happening, you may choose at some point to share. Share with your loved ones, and if you like sharing, I mean, I, I got so in love, uh, fell in love with sharing that it totally changed my career path. You can choose to upgrade and become a wellness consultant for just $99 and have a license to share this all over North America and the world. So with that in mind, uh, we find heart health absolutely phenomenal. I believe I've got Barbara Bertucci online who said that she's had a great experience with uh, the Bergisterol. Barbara, if you would unmute really quick so we can wrap this up and you can just share um, your experience uh, this is kind of a sideline, folks. Understand that progesterol is not just for your cholesterol or for um, blood pressure. Barbara, go ahead and share your story. Ah, for sure. Brody did a great job. Um, I did want to underline this is not a corporate Nikon event so that we can use it and send it out there. This is uh, from independent distributors. You know, for me, I used to think I was allergic to water. I would get indigestion uh, occasionally. I went to a microscopist, uh, someone that tests your blood, and it's like a thumbprint of your blood for that day. And he said, you know, you're not assimilating, you're not using your fats at all, and you need to take progesterone. Now, if you had asked me, how's my heart? I'm like, I'm young, I'm vital. Well, I'm 57, but still, I'm young, I'm vital. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, didn't think I had any heart issue at all. Um, but... So I started the progesterol and I wasn't really great at it. And we had that event in San Antonio. And I have to say, I ate that Tex-Mex food, which is wonderfully great. But the oil and the fats, I just wasn't used to. And I had such indigestion. It was horrific. And so um, I did take some green slimes, but I knew I needed the progesterol badly. So I got a bottle from someone because once you open it, you got to keep it in the fridge. I drank about, I must have had two jiggers, then I had another two jiggers. Um, within a day, I was fine. I was eating that food. I was assimilating it. I, I feel great, but now I don't have that indigestion, and I guess it's kind of like acid reflux, but I didn't know I had that. I would just get really bad indigestion if I ate out too many nights in a row or... Um, 
you know, drank a big glass of water and then ended up with indigestion. So if anybody's out there that thinks they're allergic to water or indigestion after you, you know, eat out or drink water, um, that might be your cue to try the progesterone. Now, I have to say I'm a two-jigger Barbara, day. Barbara, I apologize. I got to cut you short because we're over time right now. Okay. But I want to thank you. And folks, this technology is amazing. I've had many people who've been able to have massive changes blood, uh, with, with their blood pressure, uh, triglyceride levels, or, uh, triglycerides and their HDLs. Take a real good look at this. I encourage you to take a gander at it. If you like what you've heard, pass this on. Thanks, folks, for sharing. And we'll catch you later. Bye-bye now. Thanks, Brody.